Alright, so what's going on guys? Nitro here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. And today, I kind of have a little bit of a story for you guys. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a video called 25 Facts About Me. And the last fact that I talked about was how I don't really know how to ride a bike. And that seems pretty crazy, right? And so I actually had a couple people ask me if I could elaborate on that and put it in a video. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be telling you guys this kind of really funny and embarrassing story as to why I can't ride a bike. So I guess it all started in, in high school. Uh, I have had a bike since like I was little. I think I had it since like sixth grade or something like that. Uh, so I had it for a couple years. I would go riding every once in a while, but not really too often. If you guys can't tell, I'm more of an indoor person. So I didn't get outside too often. So because of that, while I did know how to ride a bike, I guess you could say I wasn't amazing at it. Just in general, I think like things on wheels, skateboards, rollerblades, I can't skateboard to save my life. Same thing with roller skates, although I don't really know too many people who still roller skate. But yeah, I literally can't even turn on a skateboard. I'm pretty bad at it. So what happened then, my freshman year of high school? Well, as it so happens, I was riding my bike down the street. I thought I'd just go hang out for a little bit, ride around my neighborhood, and I did that for a while. And I was actually on my way back home, and the pedal on the right side of my bike came off, and I just kind of like fell off the bike in the middle of the street. Now, I guess that's not really too bad. I didn't really get hurt or anything like that. But I did walk my bike back home, took the pedal back, and I it to my parents and they said well it looks like you kind of stripped the screw on the pedal thing so there's not really any way to put it back on and so because of that we just kind of put my bike away for a while and didn't touch it the pedal was still broken there was really no pedal on the bike at all and so my bike just sat there collecting dust literally for about a year and a half to two years I had not been I, I didn't touch the bike I didn't go on a bike for almost two years. Then comes the summer after my sophomore year, basically going into my junior year. I was actually uh, hanging out with my neighbors. They live like two, three houses down, and uh, they invited me to go bike riding with them. I said, well, I, I don't have a bike. You know, my bike's been broken since like forever, so I, I can't really go, I'm sorry. So they told me, okay, that's fine. We have a bike for you. And I said, okay, cool. I'll use your bike, that's fine. Turns out this is back when the fixie bikes were really popular in Southern California. I guess they still kind of are. But back during this time, everyone and their mother had a fixie and they would ride it like everywhere. You would see pictures on like, MySpace and Facebook of people going down to the beach. MySpace not so much, it was already kind of dying out when I was in my junior year. Actually, it was pretty dead. But me, not having a bike for the past two years, never had a fixie. I still haven't ridden a fixie, except for this one time when they invited me. Now I'm a pretty short person. I'm standing at five foot four. The fixies are pretty freaking high. And so right away, as soon as I got on the bike, we started riding down the street. And right away, I was already having some trouble. I could barely reach the pedals. I was like, like tilting sideways on the bike. It was, it was pretty embarrassing to be honest. But eventually I got the hang of it. I was kind of keeping up with them. Now like 15 to 20 minutes in, we're riding down the street. And uh, they say, okay, let's make a left here. We'll go into this little uh, side street. And there's a park there. We could ride around there. And so as we're doing that, I'm kind of trying to go pretty quickly. I'm trying to keep up with them because at this point, they're way ahead of me. And so I make a sharp left turn and I don't know how it happened. Maybe I'm just that bad at it, uh, but I lost control of the bike literally just making a turn like that. And uh, I remember the bike kind of doing this like little flip. I'm not sure if the bike flipped over me or to the side of me, uh, but basically the whole bike did a flip. And then I completely tumbled off the bike and rolled onto the street. I got up so fast, like they, they literally called me Spider-Man for the next year after that because I rolled off the bike and literally just went like straight up, stood up again. I was like, I'm okay, everything's good. And luckily the bike was pretty okay too. There's not really any damage to it. And I, that kind of would have sucked because I didn't really have a job at that time. So having to pay for a fixie, which I still don't even know how much those things cost. But nonetheless, it was pretty embarrassing. Like me being a 16 year old high school student, uh, not being able to make a left turn on a bike. That was uh, one of my more embarrassing moments that I've had. But yeah, I didn't really get hurt from that. I was fine. Their bike was fine. It was kind of a funny story to everyone and we laughed about it after. But since then, I literally have not ridden a bike at all. Keep in mind, I've been out of high school for two years, so that means it's pretty much going on four years now since I've properly ridden a bike and gone on a bike ride. So yeah, I'm kind of afraid, like, if I go back on a bike, I'm not sure how that's gonna happen. Am I going to buy a bike anytime soon? Probably not, because well reasons but yeah that's pretty much my story of why i can't ride a bike anymore though it's one of those things where people say you never forget how to ride a bike well obviously that is not true anyway guys that's gonna wrap it up for this story i hope you guys did enjoy i didn't really have too much planned this week in the video department so i thought i'd share this story with you guys uh and if you did enjoy a rating below would be very much appreciated let me know is there something that like you're really bad at maybe something that people would assume that everyone could do but you can't uh for me personally that's my bike story i can't I can't do it. I don't know why, I just can't. So don't expect me to be riding down Huntington Beach on my fixie anytime soon. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling on about this subject. Like I said, it's kind of just a funny, embarrassing story that uh, I thought I'd let you guys in on. And until next time guys, have a good one, and I'll catch you later.